well, here's the start of something new. Back when, I don't know, like April last year, I said that I was going to make an April project, and now it's this May. It was actually planned for last May, and then late May going into June, but I didn't want to do that, so I ended up just delaying it another year, and then just working on it this year. Um, still not done. I'm actually almost finished with, um, like, Cursed. So that's gonna be far away, but I'm still, um, not finished yet. But let me just say, welcome to animation. This is a month, um, appreciating animations that I randomly found, because I just thought they were so really, I just found them amazing. And I just wanted to show you and share to you what I think about them. Um, these obviously have like millions and millions of views. Uh, they don't need more attention, but I just thought, man, these are great. And I just wanted to put my opinions on them. Um, probably a lot of people have already done that, but I wanted to show that for, you know, my purposes. <laughs> I'm I'm clearly inspired by people like Doug Walker and Peanut Butter Gamer, you know, people that do uh, specials months and um, to really express how they feel and um, what really is special to them, like according to like certain things, like maybe Zelda or Disney. Um, Rabbit Luigi even does did Zelda month, but now is doing other specials months, um, Screen Scorpion stuff like that. I just thought I'd put my hat in and throw my hat into the ring. Throw my hat in into the ring and, you know, let's show what I think is amazing and appreciative stuff. I hopefully will give my own feelings and show my own layout compared to Doug. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can be myself and more, like, Kind of original, at least. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Usually, honestly, this has been so long in the waiting, and I just want to show you everything that I want to work on. It's just still trying to finish it. Hopefully, I can consistently make this all the way through, and this will be an amazing project. So, without further ado, here is animation. There's a man in the woods. What a spectacle. Starting off the animation, we have a surprisingly sad video. I actually planned this for April 1st, so uh, yeah, very ironic. So the short film focuses on an ex-teacher who got fired from a simple rumor that a kid named Sid created in order to go down the woods and... Skip down the hill to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their nectar till they pick their fill. While keeping it all to himself. Well, it turns out the kid actually destroys the teacher's life, as the rumors are believed by the kids, and eventually they reach home and the parents then believe the stories. They complain to the teacher about it, telling him to scale the whole forest, which makes you wonder, have they seen a forest before? <laughs> when they take action to the PTA, he is eventually let go, not being accepted by any other job because of his history, starts resorting to drugs and alcohol, and eventually finally becomes the man he despised the most, even when it didn't exist to begin with. First, I gotta say, I love the writing. If you couldn't tell, it's a poem. Duh. It sides for a more storytelling path than more expressive but subtle way poems go, but it does have some of those attributes too. Delivery is also an important factor, which I may say it excels in that too. Michael Ho brings the teacher character alive. At first it's very solemn but tired, but when it gets to the end, it starts to become more angry, distasteful, bitter, and at the very end, angry, but solemn. The music made by Michael Paul Kennedy also fits the mood very well, calm in the beginning, but it testifies as the appropriate moments come. You just hear it get higher and more angry, like it's going to burst, then diffuses and softens when the teacher gets close to Sid then slowly dissipates, leaving only the voice of the teacher. 
sound was freaking amazing. The animation. Oh, where do I begin? The style is very loose but also very together. What I mean is that each character had different proportions and were sometimes of different colors, like they were cartoon characters, but moved very realistically. I mean, would anybody take it seriously if they were moving around like Looney Tunes? I liked it. The designs didn't take anything away from it, since most of the children are background characters and I didn't mind. The attention to detail was very phenomenal, with the lava-like liquid that looked dangerous. The switch from cool colors to hot colors, even this scene. There's a man in the woods. Overall, it's a great video. It's a dark, dramatic piece that works so well. The animation fits so well, it is top-notch. The music and voice talent worked in harmony together in the most twisted and gloomy way. If you want to see a dark, artistic turn for the worse, and you haven't seen this video yet, and you ignored my spoiler warning, I recommend this video. Better check it out before it disappears in the woods again. There's a man in the woods.